Here we've got another example where we can calculate log odds ratios. Uh, so we've got a sort of a clinical trial where we are testing medication, a particular drug that might have an effect, and we have a group of volunteers. Uh, some of these volunteers will get the medication, some of them will receive a placebo. And then we record whether there is a positive outcome in the medication group or not positive outcome. So either no uh, change or it makes things perhaps uh, even worse uh, because medication can have side effects. And from the data that we have collected, we want to calculate the log odds ratio and its 95% uh, confidence interval. And we want to uh, see whether our medication actually had an effect and we want to interpret the results. So here we've got the data and by the looks of it, uh, our medication um, seems to have, well, 69 people had a positive outcome, 68 didn't have a positive outcome, so it's a 50-50 split, whereas uh, with the placebo, very clearly uh, fewer people, fewer patients had a positive outcome. So this looks really promising, but is it actually true? Is it promising? So what we want to do is we want to calculate the odds for a positive outcome when we are looking at medication. So the odds for a positive outcome would be 69 divided by 68. So that's the odds for a positive outcome. And we can also calculate that here for the placebo group. So that would be 55 over 85. So we could calculate these odds, but we can also put them uh, as an odds or ratio. So we can calculate the odds ratio where we just simply take this number here, 69 over 68 and put it into relation to the placebo group. So that would be divided by 55 over 85. And uh, of course, because there is a division of two fractions, we can write this in a slightly user-friendly way. So we have 69 over 68 times, and we just uh, use the laws of fraction, odds ratio, this would give us a value of 1.57. Now, if we want to calculate a confidence interval, we can't do that with the odds ratio, but we can do it with the log odds ratio. So the log odds ratio, sometimes just simply as log or, uh, is simply the natural logarithm of the odds ratio. So that would be the natural logarithm of this value that we just calculated, that's 1.57. And if we put this into a calculator, we would get an L, uh, a log or of 0 0.45. So that's our log odd ratio. And now we need to figure out what is the 95% confidence interval, because that is just simply a measurement. And we want to, from that is the log odds ratio from a sample, but we want to know what would be the um, relevant population log odds ratio. So if we did this experiment uh, a gazillion times, what would be the true population log odds ratio? And we can uh, nicely do that. So we can calculate a 95% confidence interval uh, or any other confidence interval actually, but a 95% confidence interval is uh, very common. So what we want to get is our log or plus 
or minus a margin of error. And this margin of error would be a 95% margin of error. Now, how do we get this margin of error? Well, uh, that's not terribly complicated. It is 1.96 because it follows a normal distribution times the standard error for this log OR. And how do we find the standard error of the log OR? Now, there is a very convenient method uh, developed by Abraham Wald. Um, it is just simply the square root of the inverse of all these numbers added together. So that would be 1 over 69 plus 1 over 68 plus 1 over 55 plus 1 over 85. So that's our standard error. And if we put this into an equation, we would get square root of 0 0.059, if I'm correct with my calculator. And uh, when we calculate the square root, we would get the standard error of 0 0.243. So that is our standard error. Now for the margin of error, the margin of error we said is 1.96 times the standard error. So that is 0 0.243. And uh, when we calculate that, we would get a standard error or a uh, margin of error of 0 0.48. So our uh, log or the log odds ratio would be 0 0.45. That's what we've calculated here. 0 0.45 plus minus 0 0.48. And we can uh, write this in the form of a confidence interval. So that would be 0 0.45. And for the lower bound, we would get 0 0.45 minus the margin of error, 0 0.48. And for the upper bound, we get 0 0.45 plus the margin of error, 0 0.48. And we can quickly calculate that. That gives us negative 0 0.03. And this would give us here 0 0.93. So we would report our log OR with a 95% confidence interval as 0 0.45, negative 0 0.03, 0.93. And we would report it like that. So what does this now actually mean? So we can try to visualize this. So in the middle, we've got our log OR, our log odds ratio of 0.45. And the upper bound is 0 0.93 and the lower bound is negative 0 0.03. So that is how we could visualize it. But what does it actually mean? Now, it means that uh, our confidence interval also includes the value of 0. Includes 0 that the true population log odds ratio is zero. So it could happen that the log odds ratio, the population, the true log odd equals zero. 
uh, could happen. Now, what does that actually mean? It means, if we look at it, what would be the odds ratio if the log odds ratio was zero? So the odds ratio, or OR, for a value of log OR would be 1. So it basically is e to the power of 0, and that gives us 1. So the odds ratio would be 1. Now what does that mean if an odds ratio is 1? It means that basically the number in the numerator is the same number as the number in the denominator. Or in other words, there is no difference between the odds. So no difference between the odds. No difference. Difference between the odds. Or in other words, there's no difference, no difference between medication, between the medication and the plus take the medication or placebo, it has the same outcome. It has the same number of two no positive outcomes. So although our intuition initially said that apparently the medication is more effective than the placebo, our calculation here of the confidence interval indicates that the true log odds ratio could be zero because zero is included in this confidence interval and therefore we must conclude that there is no significant difference between medication and the placebo. So I hope this makes sense and thank you very much for watching.